And we are back. This is Fear the Walking Dead, Season 8, Episode 1. Final season is finally here. It's been almost a year since Season 7 ended. But it's finally here. When they announced this was the final season, I felt a mix of relief and a little bit of sadness. I feel like if the show had been consistently good for the past few years, then I'd be more sad, but... Because, well, you guys already know how I feel. But I I am actually excited for this. Like, season 7 was a mess. But I'm actually excited for this season. Like, it, the queen is back. So, and it just, it looks so much better and everything. And it, at first I was worried about it being 12, 12 episodes because I thought it would be like rushed or anything but I feel like that actually might help with the pacing and it won't like drag as much or anything so that could actually be a smart move but yeah it also definitely looks really dark like season 6 was dark I feel like this might go darker with Padre and everything Yeah, and I miss Alicia already. But anyway, it like I said, it looks dark, and I'm excited. So is this right after the cliffhanger? Where Padre took them? I don't believe introductions are necessary. I'm gonna say yes. Uh, no. I know who you are. And we know who you are. Are. We know who you are. This is the person that was talking to Madison. Hi, Queen. How long have I been here? Who's this? Oh my gosh, she's from Teen Wolf. What is this? I know it's Indic. Is she Padre's leader? Oh, is that Mo? Why are you playing it for me? We want you to be a collector. To bring us children like this one who recently joined the community. Brought to us by the same collector who recruited you. So they want him to be like Madison. Do what's best for her, not you. That's what I'm doing. Go. I want to know who that voice Come is. Come on, you're clear. Sure. You know what I said I would do. The kid's not going to grow up on this island. Thank you. Do this. There's nothing you could do to me that's worse than what I'm already living. We'll see about that. I wonder who that is. And the intros are back. Oh, oh hey, Mo. Wait, so do we just start with the time it. jump? You're doing this for the same reason we do everything. That was quick. Ew. Yeah, that was really quick. The project. That's gross. Is no one gonna do anything? I'm guessing that uniform protects them. What the hell happened? All this talk about rebuilding the world, the separating emotions, they give me CRM vibes. I don't think they are CRM, but I wouldn't be shocked if they, they ended up being like connected to them in some way. Because they give me vibes of the CRM. Oh. Is anyone in there? <laughs> wait, wait, please. I'm not gonna you. Oh, it's the queen. Hi, Madison. See you next week, Lord. Are they calling her Lark? So do they give everyone like new Because they have a whole... Oh. Oh, no, 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 sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Oh. Yeah, she wants to die because Nick's dead. She thinks Alicia's dead. Fuck you. I don't like this bitch already. Well, Padre can go fuck themselves. Who the fuck you- 
I know she's not the big bad. The big bad's whoever was talking on the fucking monitor. They say she took out over a dozen guards with just a sledgehammer. Good for her. Twice as many carry. She almost killed Padre. That's Turn my girl. girl. That's my girl. Fucking queen almost taken down Padre by herself. Good for her. You want to know how I took out so many guards? I didn't care whether or not I went. How do you do what I set out to do? That's because, right, that's because right. Right. she feels she has nothing to you lose. Nick's out. dead. She thinks Alicia's dead. Do we have a deal? I better get that reunion someday. If it doesn't happen on fear, I need her to go to a spinoff because that would just be wrong. Yeah. Back up! Don't! That's right, we're getting the fuck out. What are you doing? Shit! Oh no, she's gonna- mm. You lied to me! You didn't hold up your end of the deal! What the hell's wrong with you, kid? I'm not getting in trouble because of you! She really wants to die. Where'd you get that scar? I don't know. I had it since I was little. How old are you? Eight? Why are you asking me this? Oh, is she figuring it out? Shit! That she's Mo? God, God damn it! What? Yeah, she hasn't been that long. What are you talking she about? She knows. What's your name? Ren? No, it's not. It's Mo. Mm-hmm. Where are you taking me? Where I thought your dad took you a long time ago. As far away from Padre as possible. So why didn't he? I need answers. Let's go. Grab this. Oh. Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, kid? Well. Uh. <laughs> Audrey, can you hear me? No. This is red. I think this is red. Fuck. Okay. Let's go. I wouldn't go that way. Oh. Not safe from here. Well, hello, Morgan. Where the fuck have you been? Who's that? Your dad. It's your dad. I don't know what Padre told you about parents, but I promise you, they bring it is okay. That's what they do. Because I'm here to take you back to... <laughs> Why? This is about what's best for my kid. Always was. I know I'm doing this for her. I need to, how is that Padre? Ugh. They're literally fucked up and they brainwash me. Mm-mm. Please, they're not killing her. Again. Mm-mm. Seriously? Sorry. I need I need I answers. I might not let her back in. Why does he want her back so bad? Why does he think Padre could be back on that good for her? Step both of us now. I'm not sure that's gonna be enough. Well, tell me, because I need answers. You find out what matters to you, and threaten me. They provide a way of life that works. You really buy that bullshit? They brainwash people. It's called son and a dog. Are they on the island too? No. Nick's dead. Padre didn't take Nick and Alicia because they were already dead. Alicia's not dead. But Padre lied to me. Made me think they were alive. God. Where they were. Better get that reunion someday. That was like Grace is singing when she, would, when she used to sing to her. Dwayne, Jenny. What is it? I don't know. It's uh, some kind of graffiti. He's trying so hard to like detach himself. Come on. I literally need answers because like whatever happened must have been so bad that he really thinks she's better off with Padre. And we know that's not true. Oh. Uh, is she gonna hear Grace's recordings? Cause she recorded singing for her. You take care of her, right? Like you said, you take care of her. So he gave Mo to Padre. <laughs> 
You take care of her. Well, they're brainwashing her. That's what they do. Come on. Oh, look. Padre showed up after all. Wait. I heard the radio chatter. Grace? Who are you? I'm your mother. Let's get the hell out of here. Holy fuck. Okay, we're not. We're not your parents. Your parents were Isaac and Rachel, and they're dead. Damn. They died a long time ago, and they made me promise to take care of you. And that is what I'm doing. But and that's why you're going back to Padre. Padre is not the better option. They are fucked up. They're not good people. There you go. So yeah, we're gonna take him down from the inside. I'm not gonna have to worry about you ever again. Am I right? No, sir. Can this bitch show her face? Do I have your word on that? Okay, that was interesting. This episode definitely set the tone and the stage for everything else in the season. So the first few minutes were picking up right after where we left off and then we just jumped right into the time jump. So Morgan is, or was technically now, a collector. That was kind of sad, like seeing him and Grace like try so hard to, de to detach themselves because they genuinely believe she's better off with Padre. It's fucked up because we the audience, we know Padre is not the better option because they're, they're fucked up, they brainwash people. They take children so they can like form some kind of army. This all gives me CRM vibes. Because we know CRM also trains kids. To be in an, in an army. We've seen that for, for ourselves. That's what the kind of vibe this gives me. They're training kids, brainwashing them, so they can have their own kind of army for the future. And all that talk of the future, it literally sounds like CRM. I don't think Padre is CRM, but I think in some ways they're connected. Like, I feel like Maybe they have a deal with them or something. Or they're associated with them. Like, I don't think they're directly, they directly are the CRM, but I feel like in some way they're connected. Because this all feels so familiar. All this talk of the future, taking kids, training them, brainwashing them. We've seen the CRM do all that. They have kids, they train them, they brainwash them. And all that talk about the future, it feels like it. I mean, I could be totally wrong. But that's just what it feels like right now. So Madison, this episode wanted to die because her kids are gone. Well, Nick is gone. She, she thinks Alicia's dead. I swear. I so badly want that reunion in the finale, but I feel like I'm not gonna get it. But my gut says, Madison's not done after the show. Just a gut feeling. Especially if we don't get a reunion, that would be wrong. So I feel like she's gonna go to one of the spinoffs. Like maybe she'll find out Alicia's alive and then goes to one of the spinoffs to look for her and they reunite. Either way, I don't think she's done after fear. I wanna know who Padre is. The, the dude. Speaking over the intercom, whoever that is, they're in charge. They're the ones running all this. And they weren't showing their face. Who the fuck is it? And then that lady, the woman from Teen Wolf, I don't know the character's name. She's like the secondary villain. She's like 
second in charge, whereas the, during the intercom, they're the, they're the one in charge. They're the one running all this. And I think the Padre storyline, well, I don't know. I feel like Padre itself is supposed to end after the mid-season finale, 806. I don't know. I feel like we're gonna get a lot more death this season. Like, I feel like season six was dark. We lost John. Rip. I feel like they're gonna step it up a notch this season. I feel like one of the deaths, I feel like both AA and AB are gonna have one big death. I don't know about, I don't know who AB would be. I already feel like I know who AA is gonna be. Should I say it? I feel like it's gonna be Grace. And the reason for that is because the mid-season finale is called All I See Is Red. If something happens to make Morgan see red, the only thing I could see that happening for the reason is either something happens to Mo, which is unlikely, or Grace dies. So it feels obvious to me Grace is gonna die. It's just a gut feeling. And I think some of the characters that we haven't seen are already dead, like Charlie and Sarah. Sir, specifically Charlie and Sarah. Charlie, because she was already dying before the time jump. So seven years, she's probably way, way been dead by now. Because both she and the actress that plays Sarah, they're not, they're not regulars anymore, so they're, they're definitely dead. Sarah probably died during the time jump. Charlie died probably, like, before it, because she was already dying. I do think we'll see, like, flashbacks of them, though. I don't know about Sarah, but for Charlie, we'll, we'll probably see, like, flashbacks to her last moments. But, like, present day, no, she's dead. That's obvious. And then everyone else is alive. So, yeah, for 8A, I think Grace is dead. 8B, we'll probably get a serious finale of death. I don't know who it's gonna be. Who do I think is safe? Morgan safe. Morgan... Originally, I thought, because Madison's definitely gonna go to a spinoff, I thought Morgan would do, like, the Rashawn one, to have him and Rick reunite. But after a recent interview with Lenny, I don't know. Because they were talking about Morgan's story. All this talk, they've been saying, like, Morgan's story ending on season eight. That makes me rethink that. Because if they're talking about his story ending on Fear, that makes it sound like he's not gonna go to a spinoff. Do I think he's gonna die? No. I don't. That would be ballsy and bold, and it would piss a lot of people off, especially if they don't have him and Rick reunite. But I don't think they're gonna kill him. I, if season eight of Fear really is the end of his story and he doesn't go to a spinoff, I would be curious to see how they do that. Because a lot of people want to see him reunite with Rick and the Rashawn spinoff. So if they don't do that, what are they gonna do? I mean, could they kill him off? And like the finale movie is like, I don't know. I personally don't think they will. I don't think they will. Like, I, I, obviously anything's possible, but that's just my personal opinion. I don't think they will. I don't think they're gonna kill him. Do I think we're gonna get a big serious finale death? Yes. Who do I think is safe? Morgan, Madison, Mo. I feel like either Dwight or Sherry could die. One of them. I feel like one of them could die. Grace is definitely dying in 8A. That's just my gut feeling. June, 50-50. Um, Daniel, I hope not. Can we not kill any of the OGs, please? Strand, also 50-50. I don't know why. But I hope not. I don't want any of the OGs to die. I think Luciana's safe, to be honest. So I don't know who the big death could be. But yeah, like I said before, I think this season is going to be a lot more dark than season six. Season six was dark, but I feel like this is going to step it up a notch. It's just a good feeling. I feel like Padre is... Like, we already know Padre's fucked up, but I feel like as the season goes on, we're going to see just how fucked up they truly are. But yeah, overall, this was a solid premiere. It wasn't, like, 
it wasn't flawless or like it wasn't like amazing but it was good like it definitely wasn't perfect but it was good honestly it felt like a good improvement over season seven I think the reason season seven disappointed me so much was because season six was so in my opinion season six was really good I was expecting season seven to be the same and it wasn't so when it wasn't the same it wasn't good that's what made it so disappointing to me I think I enjoy season seven more than five though because even though season seven was not good it at least does have some enjoyable stuff to me where season five no But yeah, so far this episode seems like an improvement. I do feel like this is going to be much better than last season. I don't- I mean, my personal favorite of the entire show is always going to be season 3. I don't think that's ever going to get topped. Season 3 is always going to be my favorite of this of this show. 6 was good. 6, six ended up becoming nearly a close second because I really enjoy season 6. This season <clears throat> could potentially be better than season- <clears throat> be better than season 6. I do think it'll be good, like, even though this wasn't the most perfect premiere, I still enjoyed it. Like, where season- like, season 7 eventually began to feel like a chore to watch because of how disappointing it was. Whereas this, like, I need answers. Like, yeah, we got a little bit, but there's definitely still a lot more answers we need. So I'm intrigued- I'm definitely intrigued. Part of me is kind of scared. Like I said, I feel like they're gonna. I feel like they're gonna take all the darkness and step it up a notch. Like I feel like we haven't seen anything yet. Next episode <clears throat> is called Blue Jay. And episode four is Kings County, so we're definitely going back. We know we go back because the trailer. If I'm right and Grace dies, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind of sad. Like, I like- the only characters that I have true emotional attachment to anymore where there was Alicia, but she's not on the show anymore, but... Daniel and Strange- oh my god. And Madison. Like, most of the reboot characters I don't care for. Like, I actually- I like- Grace is one of the few that I actually really like, so if, if I'm right and she dies, I'll- I'll be sad because I really like Grace. I like Dwight. I like Sherry. Uh, well, Charlie and Sarah are gone. I like Luciana. I wish they had done more with her over the seasons, but I still love her. June. I don't care much for June. But yeah, basically, if I'm right and Grace does die, I'll be sad, because I like her. As for 8B, I genuinely have no idea. I feel like each half is going to have one big death. AA is going to be Grace. 8B, probably the finale. I don't know. I really don't know. But hey, let's worry about 8B when we get there. Anyway, that is Fear the Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 1. <clears throat> Overall, it was a solid premiere. Definitely sets the tone for the season. I still have a lot of questions that need answering. But yeah, I think <clears throat> Episode 6 definitely intrigues me. All I see is red. So Grace is either going to die in that episode, or like maybe like episode 5, it's going to be toward the mid-season finale. It's just, it's a gut feeling. Because <clears throat> the only things I can see happening that can make him see red are something happening to Mo, which is unlikely, or Grace dying. <clears throat> and nothing's going to, they're not going to do anything to Mo. That's not going to happen, so. That's why I really think Grace is going to die. That's in five episodes, so let's worry about that when we get there. Anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this episode and your theories for next week's episode. 
and I will see you guys next time.